now Casey McCarroll, who's on the extreme short stack with an ace queen of hearts. Can't imagine he has as many moves available to him other than the obvious one. And fire away. Is. Yep. Wow. All right, I get to see what you have, I guess. Vivek oh, out. It. You'll notice the Vivek states, I get to see what you have, Steven, because he knows he's going to have to make a pot odds call. I mean, I know I'm behind, but I can't really fold. Welcome, Tony. Thank you, Vince. Good to be here. We're here watching our chip leader, Stephen Kelly and Alan Sternberg. We've got about a 10 to 1 chip advantage over our short stacks, Mike Sexton and Casey McCarroll. And tonight, the win is going to take home over a million dollars. All right, Andy's going to be 3,000. Blinds are 10 and 20,000. To the felt we go, Casey McCarroll, a local here. On a pretty short stack, quickly folds. And now Mike Matisau. Five times at a World Poker Tour final table, also folding. And here is the man of the moment. I'm all in. And look at this. My man Mike Sexton with a pair of five cents all in. The Royal Flush Girls are really enjoying that move in by Mike Sexton, and I like it a lot myself. Sternberg and Vivek out, and now Stephen Kelly, the chip leader, has got a pair of deuces. But no, Stephen releases his hand. Chop one up for the WPT. They didn't shut me out, Benny. They didn't shut me out. No, they didn't. You got away with that one. <laughs> Back to the felt we go. The next hand on Mike Matisau, and he's got a pair of jacks. And he's starting his hand over 100 big blinds affected himself, so he's real deep, too. Right. And he's going to raise, makes it 46,000 to go. Mike Sexton with ace, nine of clubs, quickly folding. Decides not to get sneaky with a re-steal after just jamming in the last hand. And now the young guy from Belmore, New York, Alan Sternberg with a jack-10 of diamonds. Look at this. He's going to re-raise. Surprised he's re-raising here. A lot of people elect to just call the jack-10 suited. I don't hate a three-bet, but generally people lean with a call. The out. Stephen Kelly not playing. Also on the short stack, Casey McCarroll, the local here. He's going away, so back on the mouth. Now, what is he going to do? 43 years old, out of Vegas now. Mike the Mouth just going to call. Yeah, I like his call here, Vince. I think it's a bit ambitious to four bat and try and get it all in against Allen pre-flop. Well, the flop comes up king 5-4. Mattisau sick, thinking maybe this guy has a king. He checks. Very surprised to see Allen check back. It's such a great board to go ahead and continuation bet. And now a three helps neither player on the turn. And Mattisau thinking... This guy would have bet if he had king, so I'm going to bet now with my jacks. Yeah. 165,000. Looks like a value bet for Mattisau. I think he believes at this point that Allen's probably got some kind of showdown value under that king, so he's taking a shot at getting some money. Allen is an online player, got in this tournament through a $600 satellite, and he oh, is going to release the hand. Mike Mattisau showing the pair of jacks. And range of played hand. Like either a call three flop or a bet on the flop, but you must think that Mattisau is only calling the three bet with big hands. So the two champion players, Mattisau and Sexton, off to a good start. And this be Mike Sexton's night. We will see. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Free 50 bucks added to your account to the first 100 people who sign up. Simply follow these three steps. Click the link down below in the YouTube description, make a new account with bonus code YT73, and deposit at least $1. That's it, $50 will be added to your account, but act fast, only to the first 100 people. Around to Alan Sternberg. Small blind has a king six of spades. He's going to call. Oh. Now Vivek Rajkumar, WPT champion. Yeah. Alan elects to go for a limp. Vivek states that he has no tolerance for limps. Yeah, he's raised it. Makes it 70,000 to go with just a 5-3. Alan has no tolerance for intolerance. In his <laughs> he's called. So here we go with the flop. And look at this. Three clubs on the flop. 8-6-4. Sternberg with six is going to check. And Vivek with an open and straight draw and a flush draw also checks. By checking behind, Vivek prevents himself from getting check raised off hand with good draw. Nine of diamonds on the turn helps neither player. And now Sternberg with the sixes. He bets 56,000. Vivek seems to be debating between raising or calling. Goes with the call. Down to the river we go. Jack of hearts helping neither player. I think at this point, Allen probably gives credit to Vivek for having the hand that more likely has showdown value than is actually still drawing. Allen checking here. And Vivek is aware that there's a number of speculative hands in Allen's range that could not have connected but would win if he allows them to just go to showdown because Vivek essentially has the worst possible hand. Vivek with absolutely zip and pip, nothing. 
105 high, gonna put it a bet of 105,000. That's right, he's betting 105 into 270, which really looks like a value bet to someone like Allen. It does. This would be a sensational call by the New Yorker. But no, he can't take the heat. He has folded. Vivek Rajkumar, WTC champion, taken down with top. And right now, the action's been folded around to Casey McCarroll, the local. Goes away. Mike the Mouth Matisau. Find something playable on the button. Yeah, but King Jack. Of course, almost everything's playable on the button these days. That is so right. true. And he is going to raise. I'm all in. And Mike Sexton going all in with the King Queen right behind him. Natural move here, Vince. He's on the short stack. He's against an aggressive player on the button. No, no, King Queen right plays yeah. very well against the button raising range. Allen out, and this would be a great opportunity for Mike Sexton if Manitou should call. Fingers crossed, hoping for that call. I call. And he is going to call. Sexton has got the action he wants. He's not sure about it until he sees the hand. Then he's going to be a real happy guy. Let's take a look at his expression. Oh, how sweet it is. I said I'm behind. I told you I was behind. Not by much, though. <laughs> what can I do? I have to call. Yeah, obviously. I was hoping to have like 9, 10. Well, I would rather Important 9, to note 10. here, it's a correct call by Mattisau for only 169,000 more. Not the best shape I could be in here. All right, Sexton still has to sweat out five cards. Here come the first three. And it's a good one for Mike Sexton. Ace, eight, four. So Sexton is a great place to double up. Turn the board twice when you chop Here comes the turn card. Beautiful, a deuce of hearts. One more card to fade here, Vince. I like his chances. Can he do it? This would be a great double up for Sexton. The Hall of Famer, down to the river. <laughs> Just horrendous. Mike Sexton getting bounced out of here as a jack turns up on the river. What can you say, man? It's my time, boys. Well, I'm sickened by that. Mike, the mouth mouse out has knocked out our buddy Mike Sexton. He'll be our sixth place finisher. What an awful beat. Mike takes home 148,000. A lot of respect from the poker world. Oh, and worse than that, he has to sign a t-shirt now, Tony. That's a very awkward moment when you've been eliminated from the tournament. You're sitting there signing the t-shirt, but he's such a good sport about it. He's a bounty, and he's been knocked out. Madison gets 5,000 in addition. I like to think count out the 5K in front of you in a very quantum manner. Oh, boy, this is a, a horrible beat there for our buddy Mike Sexton. Right now, he's talking to Matt Savage. That's a terrible way to go there, that jack on the river. Yeah, it's a tough beat, but that's poker, as they say. And, uh, you know, I was a short stack anyway. Even if I double up, I still got a long way to go. But, you know, I had a little hope there if I won that pot. But, unfortunately, it didn't go my way. All right, what are you going to do now? Are you going to get back in the booth? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop at the bar first and then, uh, and then figure out what I'm going to do from there. But uh, I think I'm going to let those guys handle it tonight. And they're doing a good job so far. So I may just take the nine off. I think they said a couple of nice things about you. Good luck to you, Mike. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Free 50 bucks added to your account to the first 100 people who sign up. Simply follow these three steps. Click the link down below in the YouTube description, make a new account with bonus code YT73, and deposit at least $1. That's it. $50 will be added to your account, but act fast only to the first 100 people. Quiet Mike looks down at a jack eight. He likes to fold. New Yorker Alan Sternberg with a jack eight as well. Won't play that junk. I certainly don't think we're gonna see an internet player like Vivek pass up a lot of opportunities or raise an ace in the butt. Oh, he's doing it. 55,000 to go. And now the chip leader, Stephen Kelly with jack 10. Steven's been pretty quiet thus far. A former waiter. Aren't we all? <laughs> Looks like he's finally going to get on board and do something. Pick kind of a smart spot to get a bit out of line against Vivek here. Oh, he's going to raise it. Makes One it 140,000. And now Casey McCarroll, who's on the extreme short stack with an ace queen of hearts. Can't imagine he has as many moves available to him other than the obvious one. And Fire away. Is. Yep. All right, I get to see what you have, I guess. Vivek uh, out. It? You'll notice the Vivek states, I get to see what you have, Steven, because he knows he's going to have to make a pot odds call. I mean, I know I'm behind, but I can't really fold. I'm hoping you have ace-king. 
Well, I'm, I'm, I'm calling. I call. Oh, he is going to call. Yes, he's made the right call. He was priced in. And he's behind at this moment. And Casey McCarroll, Lafayette, California, 29 years old, in a good place to double up. Way out in front. Just needs to hold up here. Stop Ace Dude Zeus. Out of black ace. Casey McCarroll, the hood goes off. Big favorite here in San Jose. Here's the flop. Right in the window. Oh, and a 10 just like that. Stephen Kelly has outflopped Casey McCarroll with the 10. Two more cards to come. Well, yeah, Stephen Kelly's family loving this right now. Big opportunity. Here comes the turn card. King of Hearts on the turn. Absolute dream card for Casey, giving him all kinds of. Can I win one flip? Can I win one flip this tournament? This creates the possibility of seeing a royal flush. Not just the girl. A lot of outs for this young guy. The local, he can't look. Hey, Casey, get lucky. Here's the river card. No, it's a seven of clubs. And that's going to wrap it up for Casey McCarroll. Yeah, it's going to on the river. Nothing you can do there with that hand in that position free flop. I think he played it perfect. Yeah, he's going to pick up 221,000 for his fifth place effort. Yeah, good to see a local guy come out here, get a lot of support. It's a great thing for day one. So, not to be for Casey McCarroll. He cannot catch that last card. We're down to fourth place. We'll come back with more action from the Bay 101 shooting star in just a moment on the WPT. All right, four players remain here tonight. Like 15, 100,000 blinds right now. Now we would talk. Mike Madison starting to talk a little bit. Action's on him. And he's going to fold a Jack Deuce. I just want to see 20 you three idiots blow up first. <laughs> Friendly as usual. Let's <laughs> make bad. Let's bet 10,000 which idiot throw blows up first, Larry Moe or Curly. Now the problem with making that reference here is all of his opponents are too young to understand it. <laughs> all right, well, Allen is raised with a 9-8, and Vivek behind him with a king-jack has bumped it. Stephen Kelly, though, the chip leader with an ace-deuce. Naturally, his decision here is either four-bet or fold. He can never just call the three-bet. Three blind mice, see how they run. Whoa. Look at these guys. He's going to raise. He makes it 390,000 to go. The New Yorker, Allen, out. Yeah, I got to point out, Vince, I think this is a great spot to make this four bet. He risks 390K, and considering Vivek started the hand with 2 million, he essentially puts him to a decision for his entire stack. We know how capable Vivek is of getting out of line in those spots. Vivek has four. Oh, wait, 200 bucks a show. $200? 200 bucks. But he says, I'll pay 200. you 200 cash right. if you show me. And Stephen Kelly's gonna show him. You think it's worth two hundred dollars to show there? For two hundred dollars, he gives he's giving me. Side action to table. Moth's coming out of the wallet of Vivix. Yeah. All right. Sure. We'll just keep showing off. Two hundred dollars. Your name. <laughs> Stephen. Oh, he's gonna give the cash to his parents. I'll give you a hundred of that later. What a nice guy. I'll give you a hundred of that later. All right. Yeah! Oh, they're bringing the props out here at the Bay 101. What a fan base Stephen Kelly, 21-year-old, has here. Family and friends rooting him on. Everything's going his way so far tonight. But a very smart and aggressive game. You know, not a spewy, crazy aggressive game, but he just picks those spots and he goes after guys. Stephen Kelly with a quick fold. Mike the mouth. When they also see a film of these cards, they're going to ask what happened. And Alan Sternberg going to raise with a pair of sixes. Right behind a Vivek with the ladies. What a time to get him. And considering that we recently saw Vivek three bet and then have to fold against Alan Sternberg, though the four bet came from Stephen Kelly, he's got the kind of image here to go ahead and just three bet his big hands and hope to get some action. Well, Vivek's raised, makes it 160. Back on Allen. Allen is an online player, mainly. He used to work at a record store. You can almost smell the incense coming from his sweatshirt. Mm, he does have that John Cusack vibe about him. <laughs> All right, well, he's called this. So we got ladies up against sixes and a flop. Oh, and just like that, three of a kind for Alan Sternberg as an A6-5 hits on the flop, and he's going to trap. He's going to check. Yeah, massive flop here for Alan. It's on a board where he can anticipate Vivek firing at least one, possibly multiple barrels, either as a bluff or for value if he's got the ace himself. Well, Vivek is going to make the continuation bet, even though he's sickened that an ace has flopped. Very small continuation bet from Vivek. It's the kind of flop where you can make a small continuation bet because most of your opponent's decisions are going to be straightforward. Now Allen has the decision. Do you check raise? Do you just call? 
Oh, but Allen's going to oh, repop it. Yeah, notice his hand was actually shaking a little bit, which is normally a sign of a player having a monster, and it came out a little bit as he extended his chips into the pot. Well, let's see if Vivek will notice that. Now, you got an ace on the board. Vivek just has queens. It's been raised to 277. And Vivek, a you know, great lay down if you could no, but he is going to call. Yeah, I don't blame Vivek for calling here yeah. either, actually. is blind versus blind. Oh! Ooh, wow. A queen on the turn. What a card for Vivek. Three of a kind now for him. Yeah. This is going to be tremendous. And out comes the three sixes. 475 by Allen. Little does he know what a monster Vivek just turned. And Vivek's going to rope him in. Wow. Just yeah. calling. Yeah, Vivek thinks that Allen either has a monster, which he does, or some kind of bluff and wants him to have the opportunity to keep oh, betting. Look at this, river a queen. Not that he needed it. Just gets better and better. Four of a kind for Vivek. And I just can't see any way that Allen doesn't get stacked here. I mean, it's oh, a yeah. total cooler of a hand. But Six is full. Allen has. We know the trap he's about to walk into, and there's nothing he could do. I mean, he could practically turn both hands over, and he'd still end up stacking yeah. off. This is just sickening for the 25-year-old Allen from New York. And he says, all in. Did he say I'm all in? Yeah. Yes. I call. That's all right, Vivek. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And Allen's mouth is just a gaping to the hand. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Free 50 bucks added to your account to the first 100 people who sign up. Simply follow these three steps. Click the link down below in the YouTube description. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and deposit at least $1. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. But act fast. Only to the first 100 people. Vivek with a quick fold. And now Stephen Kelly. Can't imagine he'll pass an opportunity to raise a hand like Queen 8 suited on the button. Well, he's done it. He's made a 70,000 with his Queen 8. Mike the Mouth Matisau. He has an ace 6 and a decision. Very quiet pre-flop play from Matisau thus far today. Right. So when he picks the spot, the three bet light here, I gotta say I really like it. He's got the image to pull this off, plus he's got an ace, which is a blocker to any big hands that Steven might have. Yeah. Well, he's made it 175, and now hard luck Alan Sternberg, who just took a torturous blow against Vivek. Just a jack 10. And look at this. Gutsy re-raise. That's slowing down. 440 to go. Stephen Folds. Uh, the former waiter, Stephen Kelly, spills the drink, Folds. And now what Mike's got to decide here is whether Allen's capable of getting out of line after losing that huge hand. Is he thinking, is he on tilt, and he's going to try and splash around some chips, or after taking a beat like that, is he going to tighten up and only put a bunch of chips in when he's really happy? Madison with the decision now with just a six. They got about the same amount of chips. Over two million, and Mike and Madison is going to lay down the hand. What a nice play by Alan Sternberg. Yeah, nicely executed. Can you ship it on me if I have four bet? On you, yeah. I had already made up my mind on that. <laughs> I had a big hand, man. Madison saying he had a big hand. Back to his lying ways. Yeah, we know better than that. <laughs> All right, to the table we go. These guys are playing fast. Action on Stephen Kelly. He puts his glasses on, and he goes out. Mike Matisau with a queen three in the button, won't play this. And here's the thief of Belmore with a pair of fours just calling. Again, opting for a limp out of the small blind. Vivek with just a five deuce, nothing hand. Vivek as intolerant to small blind limps as he's ever been. He's gonna raise it, makes it 105. And Allen is going to call it. Here's the flop. And that is a king eight four three of a kind for Allen Sternberg. Flop the set. Allen's really good at flopping sets blind versus blind. Allen's going to check it again, trying to trap the Vic. Here's the Vic bite with his nothing hand. Yes. Vic, that's one hundred and fifty thousand. Wasting one hundred and fifty thousand for the bet. Yeah, certainly he's going to bet a texture like this when he raises sure. blind versus blind. Anticipates that Allen's mostly going to check fold. 
Oh, but, but not today. is not going to let him get away with just that. He makes it 400,000 to go with his set. Yet again, we see Alan Check raising a set on a blind versus blind pot and a very dry board. What is Vivek's going on here? Vivek getting involved deeper. He's called this. Yeah, Vivek's doing here is known as a float. He's calling with a hand that really has no potential to win by showing down and anticipates bluffing on future streets. Well, a 10 of clubs, no help to either player. Alan going to check again. Going to throw some more rope out to the young man from Seattle, Washington, Vivek Raj Kumar. And I think if Vivek bets here, it's probably not going to be very large because we already know that he's bluffing. And if he thinks that Allen was bluffing oh. on the flop, it shouldn't take very much to make him fold. Oh, it's painful. He's your buddy, of course. Yep. Yep. He's betting again. There's how well I know him. Fires Three. in about a third pot. 320, but back over the top by Allen Sternberg. 825 and Vivek. He's got to be sick about that. Ever rare double check raise. Executed nice champion. Yeah, yeah. Live Vivek by the sword, die by the sword. Vivek Raj Kumar, um, feigning like he's going to come back over the 1. top. 1.5. We know he's going to run out of here. A little over. A little over. Closer to 1.6, I think. All the time to take a stab. It's ridiculous. It's brilliant. This is But it didn't ridiculous. work. Show the boss. Show the boss. Show the boss. Show the boss. I'm impressed by this final table. They are playing fast and they're playing bold. Sounds like a machine fighting back. With the play of Alan Sternberg. He's kept things together and he's still looking good here tonight. And we've got a very deep, slow structure that will allow him to make some gains or have someone else take control with the amount of aggressive thinking poker we've got left tonight.